Namaste. Hello. This is Sampradha once again with pearls of wisdom presenting another motivational booster shot for the day. Today, let's discuss anger management. Realize and try our best to eradicate it. There is a saying which goes as follows. Holding on to anger is like grasping a hot coal with the intent of throwing it at someone else not realizing that you are the one who gets burnt in the process let's understand this particular saying with the help of a short and practical story it so happened that an american man walked into a restaurant in london as soon as he entered he noticed an african man sitting in the corner so he walked over to the counter pulled out his wallet and shouted waiter i am buying food for everyone in this restaurant except that black african guy over there although surprised the waiter collected the money from the man and began serving free food to everyone in the restaurant except the african However, instead of becoming upset, the African simply looked up at the American and said, "Thank you." This unexpected reaction infuriated the man further. So once again the American took out his wallet and shouted, "Waiter, this time I'm buying sweets and additional food for everyone in this motel except for that African sitting right there in the corner. So the waiter collected the money again from this man and began serving free food and sweets to everyone except the African. When the waiter finished serving the food and drinks, once again instead of becoming angry, the African simply smiled at the American man and shouted, "Thank you." that made the american man really furious now is this guy a saint or something who is this guy so he leaned over on the counter and said to the waiter what's wrong with this african man i have bought sweets and food for everyone except him but instead of becoming angry he just sits there and smiles at me and shouts thank you is he mad The waiter smiled at the American and said, "No sir, he is not mad. He is the owner of this restaurant and motel." Shocked, the American now hangs his head down and leaves quietly. The story gives us several points to introspect. In the story, the American was so angry looking at the African guy that he just ended up spending plenty of money to infuriate him while in the end he ended up giving him more business in anger one loses his mind as he thinks after he speaks or acts if you learn the art of not accepting this anger that bubbles within you could end up taking sane decisions and probably being witty and smart This is also highlighted in Bhagavad Gita, a very practical scripture for life and for business ethics. But how do you do it? As you get angry, just hold on and take a few deep breaths. This calms down the tension of emotions in a minute or two and gives you time for conscious thought and sane decision making. try it once and experience the difference all of us at some point have blown the whistle of anger on someone or the other and have goofed up in the process the african guy was the owner of the restaurant he could have easily reacted probably by throwing this guy out of his restaurant for humiliating him right since he did control his anger the offender's plan of humiliating him backfired and he ended up having more business 
So remember the story when you get offended and possibly react because of anger. Think of the consequences first before you blow the whistle on someone or you might end up cutting a sorry figure. Hope you enjoyed today's technique of anger management. Wishing you a great day and do stay tuned to Pearls of Wisdom.